Okay, so what I want to go through with you guys is just the quadratic form uh, of an equation, kind of like our standard form equation. So that format, quadratic form, is we're going to say y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. All right? Now, this is going to be where a, b, and c are real numbers and a cannot equal 0. All right? Let's take a look at what if a did equal 0. Well, that would just go to 0, so you'd have y equals bx plus c. Does anybody remember the equation what bx plus c looks like? What, 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 kind of what kind of equation is this kind of similar to? Yeah, remember, remember this one, y equals mx plus b? Right? Remember that m and b are just numbers, so we can use whatever letters we want to represent the numbers. But if you guys have 0 in front of your x squared, then you have a line. right? But we're not talking about linear equations anymore. Now we're talking about quadratic equations. So the main important thing you guys just need to know is your quadratic equation is y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, where a, b, and c are real numbers. And these are what we're going to call our coefficients, except for c is actually a constant because it, it doesn't have a variable. So these are going to be your real numbers, OK? All right. And we're going to use this to be able to use the quadratic formula. We're going to use this to complete the square. We're going to use this to find the axis of symmetry. We're going to use this to graph a whole bunch of different reasons. You guys are going to need to know the ax, plus B, BX, AX squared plus bx plus c. All right.